Hey there, Garrett here with DIY PBX. This is video eight. This quick video will show you how to set up the follow me function on your DIY PBX. Here's our head trainer, Kent, with more instructions. It's Kent with DIYPBX.com again. This time we want to talk about how to add a follow me setting to your extension. So I'm looking at my extensions here. A follow me setting basically sends a call to an extension to different places, different destinations. Uh, you could send them to a cell phone, to another extension, uh, any number of places. So I like to do this from the extension menu. I just go to the extension and go to add follow me settings. Uh, as long as this box is not checked, it is enabled. You can see the initial ring time is set to zero, so it's going to start ringing these follow me extensions right away. Uh, you can set a different ring strategy if you like. In here, I'm going to put uh, a random not working number. I've got 10 digit dialing here configured. Uh, you can do 10 or 11 digits if you used uh, your SIP.US module in there. Uh, it would allow for either type of dialing. So this is 10 digit dialing. You could uh, set it to go to different extensions, different phone numbers, wherever you want it to go. I'm going to pretend like we're going to send a call out, like maybe this is my cell phone. It's going to ring these for 20 seconds. Uh, a call comes in, it's going to ring for 20 seconds, and then it's going to do the normal extension behavior, which would be then be to go to voicemail after a certain period of time. So uh, I'm going to go to my inbound routes. I've already set up this inbound route to dial uh, this external number, and I want to show you what happens when we do that. So I'll dial in one, oops, 1773747 which is that test number that we took out. And I'm going to call on that. You can see that it's ringing. I'll let it ring for the full 60 seconds. Um, or I'm sorry, 20 seconds, and then I'll show you what it looks like on the CDR at SIP.US so you can see for yourself how you can test if this is working or not. So that was it. It went to voicemail, and I just hung up on it. But if we go to here, here I'm in my account, and you see the inbound, uh, you can see that I actually had some failed calls to that number here. Uh, and this is actually a, an earlier attempt, uh, but you can see what I'm talking about, where they failed because 555 is not a valid exchange, so that's not going to be a real number. But if it had worked, it would say answered like these here. So you can see that is kind of how it would work um, in the Follow Me settings. You can send that to a cell phone. You can send that to pretty much any number. You, you can even do international dialing if that's what you want to do. Uh, just another way to send calls somewhere else with a lot of flexibility. Thanks for sticking around to the end and watching the entire video. Remember, you can find a complete transcript of this video at DIYPBX.com along with our complete catalog of DIY PBX setup videos. Thanks again for watching and good luck.